All right, in this video, we're going to talk about multiplying binomials, and we're going to deal with some fractions. So this is on delta math. We're multiplying with fractional coefficients. So notice we have two binomials here, and they're asking us to express the product or to multiply as a trinomial in simplest form. So let's go ahead and work on that. So here's what we're going to do. And just like multiplying binomials before, we want to multiply every term in the first binomial against every term in the second binomial. The only difference here, we're going to have to deal with some fractions and maybe do a little bit of multiplying and adding a fraction. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Let's start here. So my 3 halves x, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by the first term over here. So I've got 3, half x, three halves x times 1 half x. So I've got x squared, right? And then I'll do this kind of longhand. So I could rewrite it as this, right? So the x squared, x times x is x squared, 3 halves x times 1 half x. So now remember with multiplication, we just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. So I end up with 3 over 4 x squared. So there's my first term, 3 fourths x squared. All right, now let's go ahead and multiply by 2. So I've got 3 halves x times 2. Now I'm going to rewrite 2 as a fraction, make it a little bit clearer as to what I'm multiplying. So the 3 times the 2, I get 6 across the top over 2x, or I could simplify that to 3x. Now you could also cancel these two out because we're multiplying. You can't do it if you're going across equal signs or if you're adding. Because you're multiplying, you could do it that way as well. But uh, to be sure that you get it right, if you're not sure when you're allowed to cancel and when you're not, you just multiply across the top and across the bottom and then simplify. So you have 3x here, so let's go ahead and add that, add 3x. Okay, now let's go across the bottom. Negative 1 times 1 half x, that's just going to be negative 1 half x. And then negative 1 times negative 2, I get negative 2. All right, now I do need to simplify, which means I need to add and subtract some fractions. So I've got this 3x minus 1 half x. So again, we're going to need to do some fraction work, but this time with subtraction instead of addition, or instead of uh, multiplication. So when we add and subtract fractions, we need to have a common denominator. Uh, if I have three wholes and then a one half, I need to figure out uh, how many halves those three wholes are. So Here's what I mean. So 3 over 1, that's, that's a fraction, minus 1 half. Okay? What I need to do is get a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply by 2 on top and bottom. So I take this denominator here, multiply it on top and bottom, I get 6 over 2, minus 1 half, which comes out to equaling uh, 5 halves. Okay? So, if I was, so this would be 5 halves x squared, 5 halves x, or not x squared, just 5 halves x. All right, so now let's go ahead and type that in. So I get 3 fourths x squared plus 5 halves x minus 2. All right, and let's go ahead and check our answer here. All right, and that looks good. So notice they use FOIL in order to multiply these. You could use your box method. There, there's lots of different ways to multiply the binomials. Um, but they do give you a pretty nice uh, explanation as to how each term is getting multiplied and where it's coming from. So if you need to kind of review these, there's also, once again, there's these help videos uh, if you need help different than what this video is giving you. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But this wraps up our video on multiplying with fractional coefficients.